Hi Taurus, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, what your person is thinking. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, let me go to, I think I'm going to do this deck really quick. So what does Taurus need to know? There's love here in the situation, possibly commitment, waking up to a reveal. Someone is heartbroken, okay. You have someone here maybe missing you, Taurus, or heartbroken. Let's see, what is going on? Maybe they're just feeling, it says feeling lost. Maybe you've broken up. You have somebody who's worried in your energy also. It came up in, I think, Aquarius's. But someone could be worried that they're losing you. They may, may want new commitment. Maybe they were fighting over commitment. I got Ten of Cups and the Five of Wands here fighting. Maybe they are willing or they want commitment now, or in the past they didn't. Be a water sign. I just saw the King of Cups. Mm, I just saw you also right here. None of the two of you are in love. There's love here. But unless there's another person, but let's see, let's go back through here. Page of coin can mean an apology. Maybe someone wants to apologize to you, Taurus. Could be an air sign. Who wants to get along? Who wants to work things out with you. Alright, so somebody is missing you, wanting to work things out, wanting to possibly even apologize, but same vibe off of um, the other one I did, but I kind of feel like maybe for some of you, though, you work together and this is someone who just really likes you. So would be worried about revealing feelings is kind of what I'm getting here. Maybe it's not an apology. Maybe they want to reveal something. Someone wants some sort of commitment. You have the Ace of Coins. Someone is very attracted to you, Taurus. Someone finds you very attractive with the Ace of Wands and they're just drawn to you. That's the one thing I'm seeing here. Uh, it's like they can't resist you is almost what I'm feeling. They need to go toward the light. They need to go toward you with the star energy. But it's, they want to resist. Nine of Wands and the Strength card. They're trying to be strong. This person is like, it's like they're trying, okay, not to show emotion or they don't, they want, they don't want to reach out or, but there's like, they're being drawn to you. They might be in another connection, but what is this? Oh yeah, they like you. It's like, it's like you're a light to them. Like you are this shining light. Again, they could just find you very attractive, Taurus, and just like, you know, want to be around you, want to talk to you, want to see you. So whether this is someone like you work with or someone else where you've maybe broken up with or they might be a Leo, we have Aquarius here. They think about you a lot. Under the deck is Hierophant. They may be thinking about a commitment with you. That's what this says. Maybe they miss you. Maybe they're at a distance. Show me the three of coins. They're sad. Wow. They're in their emotions. Look at that. They don't normally get in their emotions, but for you, they are with the devil energy. They could be a Capricorn or a Pisces. Hmm. They want to come towards you. All right. Show me something with this Ace of Wands, how they feel about you. They may be wondering about you, dreaming about you, thinking about you, wanting commitment or wanting to recommit. You're under the deck. You may have a fire sign who could be looking at you right now, thinking about you a lot. Someone who could be holding their cards close to their chest and not really revealing much. But let's see, what is coming up with what they would say? That just fell out. It says, I want to kiss you. But like this person wants to talk to you. They want to kiss you. They want to be with you. Someone else would never compare to you. And they want to make you happy. They miss your smile. I think they like your laugh. Somebody, they like your lips. They could also like your eyes, your eyelashes, just overall. Some of you, they like the way like you walk. Um, they like also when you flirt with them. They love when you flirt with them. And what is this Ace of Swords here? Fighting. I don't know if there's another, I feel like there's another person. There's something here that showed up in the other deck where they're always, they don't get along with someone. It could be fighting feelings. And this could be a work situation. I hate a coin to say that. Like they could work with someone else because it did say that they will never compare to you. So there's someone else they're comparing uh, with you. And they feel like you're the better match or you're the better catch. Or again, this other person doesn't know what they're doing. I mean, even if this is like a work type of situation, they don't like working with them. They'd rather work with you. Oh, 
just dropped a whole bunch. Maybe they're tired of the deception, tired of not showing feelings came out. There is something new here with the five of coins, the ace of coins came out together as well. And, oh, weasel came out together. Page of cups, king of wands, judgment, you, eight of swords. Why the eight of swords there? Are you not moving forward with this person, Taurus? Under the deck hermit thinking about this. I don't think you've been talking to this person recently. Maybe you guys are separated. Maybe you guys work in different sectors or sections. Eight of swords, what is this? Thinking about the past. I don't know if this person betrayed you, hurt you, stopped talking to you. I think you're thinking about that. Okay, some of you, you are like this queen of wands energy. I feel like you could, you could have other options or you have other options. I don't know if this person's a player, but actually when I put this two together, there is a matching pair here. There's some hot energy here between the two of you. You know what I kind of feel like? I wonder if this person thinks that this is less, but maybe it's not. This is love. They're falling in love. They want commitment. They're waking up to that. They're heartbroken without you. They miss you. So someone could be realizing that they miss you or they're heartbroken. Like they kind of played it off like it did. But Ten of Wands, feeling way down, trying to decide. Yeah, they should start something new with you. I get if they're in another situation, they're unhappy. Okay. There is another person involved. They are very unhappy with that person. They're not getting along right now. They could be arguing. Uh, they always think about being with you. Are they going to get out of another situation, though? Something clipped around the star card. Now, the star card to me is a yes. It's a very strong yes. Tell me more. Are they getting out of that other situation? Again, earth sign. This could be you. New beginning, ace of coins. Queen of Wands came out. So again, someone finds you very attractive. This could again be a fire sign. This could be a same-sex connection. Let's see, we have Six of Cups, the past, the King of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Something here, oh, something very attractive to you. Maybe you guys had a party together, or you guys had a you know a date or something, went out with there's something here they wanted to talk to you more again. They were really drawn to you. Could be an earth sign like you. Maybe they thought you were somebody else because this is like kind of like, I don't know, kind of clamming up, not wanting to talk, pulling back. Okay, let's go to a different deck. How is this person feeling right now? How are they feeling? They want to start something new here with you. It says, there are unspoken truths. There are things they wish they told you. And they feel like this is true love. Wow. Dropping everything. All right. It shows what we need to know, Taurus. So there's feelings here that they want to reveal. They all also want commitment or they want to be exclusive with you. They're tired of possibly sneaking around or not revealing something or, and they're always drawn to you. They're very drawn to you with this Ace of Wands energy. All right, we have between the lines, look for what's hidden. Spiritual awakening, realization, it was a commitment or a proposal. I'm sorry. Sorry. Some sort of change. I'm sorry I changed or there was going to be a proposal. They want one, but there's they're sorry that there was a change. Two more. Home and keeping tabs. There's a change in their home life. Social media, something keeping tabs on you. This was important. This was an important connection. Safety and comfort, love, divine feminine, honestly, new love and rebuild and wanting to rebuild with you. All right, I'm gonna see what this person, we did that. We already saw what they were gonna say. Okay, let's see what they're going to do next. What is this person going to do next? Four of coins, watch and wait, broken hearted. Feeling emotional, not sure what to do. Six of coins, five of coins, temperance. They may not feel like they have a lot to offer you right now. They may be feeling out in the cold. <clears throat> Sagittarius energy, three of coins. If you guys don't work together, they're sad. 
There's also like threes. There's, there's a third party. We've got a lot of threes showing up in your reading. There could be somebody else involved. You could be talking to someone else or with somebody else already, or you know, you think you're dating someone else if they're not, yeah, because they're spying on you. They miss you. They feel like that you are happier without them. He, even if it's not like if you're not on social media, maybe they see you, maybe they, you know, drive by where you're at. Page of Swords, they definitely spy. They want to beat the competition. This person's obsessed. They're getting obsessed with this connection. They're actually kind of getting mad too. They think about this a lot. They talk about this to also to other people, Taurus. Messages, they want to send messages. They're also hoping you're going to reach out to them. If they're with somebody else, it's like a, a relationship out of convenience. It could be, they might be codependent, but there's a water sign involved for some of you. There's a definitely like a water sign somewhere in the mix. It keeps showing up, possibly a Scorpio, but maybe a Pisces. Okay, I feel like your person's frustrated right now. And they don't really know what to do. And they're worried that this is going to pass them by. All right. Anything else for Taurus? Four swords again. Listening to their intuition. This is a tower and hermit. I feel like they need to do something. I feel like they need to reveal something or to speak their mind. It would make them feel better. They think about this a lot. It kind of overwhelms them or consumes them. They view you as a nine of pentacles. Again, they may see you as out of their league. They may see you as like they can't keep up with you. They may be in love with you, but it's like they're worried. It's, some, somebody has money issues and they're worried you're going to find out or they don't have enough money or something like that. They're having some money. It could be legal issues as well. They may have had to sell their home or change their home or where they live. So let me see what other messages are coming up for you. What else is coming up for you, Taurus? Give me the name Jack. I'm not sure why that name is coming through. Candle. You'll be shown the way. There's been fighting or discord among friends or family. But you've been protected from negative energy. And you'll be receiving a gift. Nice. It could be from a man. It's just man changes in your life. Under the deck it says mule. Someone's been acting stubbornly. So I'm going to go there, Taurus. Have a great weekend.